It's a James Steinhubel on DVU Grand Prairie, and I'm with Elpit Patel of uh, Pizza Plus right here in Grand Prairie. How you doing, Elpit? Good, good. Now, I just wanted to ask you a few questions. How is it going in this time? You know, energy down tick, a little bit of COVID. How are you guys making out? Uh, it's up and down too much. It's up and down too much? But a little yeah. uh, is it up more than the down? It's kind of like you never know, right? It's oh. like a very up and down. Today is busy. Tomorrow is very, very slow. Hard okay. to survive like that, right? So right, right, right. Uh, you guys are hanging very, in. Like no. a few months was very bad. Yes, yes. And the uh, and and now is it looking a little bit better? Uh, it's like steady, not a little bit better. The before was good, right? Before March was good, then it's gonna be, you know, yeah, it's gonna be very. Before it was down, 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 then like a little bit up, but yeah. still not uh, rich. It, uh, back to back to normal. Have have you have, I'll tell you, have you guys participated in any of the government programs like the lease or the uh, work share or anything like that? Uh, not really. Okay, and uh, have you had to pivot at all? Did you did you merge with another business or did you add new products? Yeah, we add new products. Yeah. What did you add? Donut dippers and some pizzas like that. Okay, good, 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 good. And how how have you how have you found the uh, you know the local government support? You know, uh, with the MP and the MLAs and the city councilors, have they been around at all? Uh, the Alberta government they provide that forty thousand loan for the. Yeah small business yeah that's a good one but okay. the other than that the rent ran like that yeah okay okay and then uh, what about the local uh, you know your customers your local customers they've been treating you good yeah they are good local customer they are good yeah and how about your own engagement are you guys still involved with you know supporting the, your local you know cultural and community groups and sporting yeah, groups yeah. yes that's all going good yeah excellent anything anything else you'd like to say you want to talk yeah. a little bit about your new pizzas and products you put in uh, not really. Uh, the, <laughs> the new pizzas, the people like it <laughs> so far. Oh, what is it? What is it? It's like the volcano chicken and Indian Punjabi style pizza and chicken bacon ranch. Nice. And the donut dippers, people like donut dippers more because it's a fry stuff. And, yeah. <laughs> That's, That's awesome. Made, made me hungry. Alpit Patel from uh, Pizza Plus right here in Grand Prairie with me, James Steinhubel on TVU News. Thanks, Alpit. Thank you. Bye-bye. Well, it's James Steinhubel on TVU Grand Prairie, and we have uh, Jeff Adams, owner of J. Adams Auto Body. How you doing, Jeff? No, not too bad. Yourself? Fantastic. How's it going there? You know, we got down, up and down oil, gas, and COVID. How are you guys making out? Yeah, everything's kind of riding a roller coaster, up and down. Okay. And have you guys uh, participated in any of the government programs, you know, any of the uh, lease options or work shares? Um, I believe we did the uh, the salary one. Excellent. The top Excellent. off. And, and the uh, the business uh, business volume, what's that looking like? Uh, it's definitely down from last year. Coming down. And have you guys had to pivot at all? Did you add any new services, or did you merge with other companies? No, we've just kind of tried to stay the same here right now. And in terms of um, local support, you know, from government officials, uh, and, you know, has it been good for you? Have they been by? Um, we haven't really seen too much of anybody. Okay. Okay, and and your uh, and your community's uh, uh, support. Uh, uh, are you guys still engaged? Are you, are you back in sports and local cultural events? What are you guys doing? Um, well, we my my little guy plays hockey. I've got one of my daughters in competitive swim. Everything's kind of hockey shut down right now. The competitive swim is uh, they they kind of found a workaround where it's one kid per lane, and everything's a little different for them. <laughs> but they're still going. They're still hitting the hitting the pool. That's, Trying to. Uh, that's awesome. What about the businesses around you? You know, and you're you know, there's always a little bit of camaraderie and visiting and waving. How's every, how's the mood? How's everyone doing? Uh, it's pretty quiet. Nobody really ventures out any further than they have to right now. Okay. Okay. And then anything anything else you'd like to say before I uh, end the interview? Uh, no. Just Merry Christmas. It's coming. <laughs> Jeff Adams uh, with me, James Steinhubel, on the TVU News. Thanks, Jeff. Yep, what, thanks. Uh, James Steinhubel on TVU Grand Prairie News with Frank Havies uh, with Travel Land Leisure Vehicles. How are you doing today, Frank? Real good, sir. Yourself? Very good, very good. How's it going? You know, you guys in the middle of energy up and down and COVID. How's it looking for you? Well, we're lucky uh, as far as the business goes. We're in the off season. Uh, certainly, COVID has had an effect on uh, our staffing and and whatnot. But our 
our employees are following protocol and coming to work and we're getting our work done. So it's good Go there. And and the government programs, did you guys participate in any of the work share or the lease options or any of that? Uh, you know what? Uh, that would be a corporate call and we're, we're a new company. I didn't have my hands in that pie this year. Okay. And um, in terms of what it's looking like year over year, you guys sitting good? Like the volume's good? You know, I'm old enough to go back to the early 80s when we saw the recession kind of hit its peak and, when, you know, people go camping when they're not working. And so we've been staying steady and uh, we're probably saying the same thing for next year. Uh, supply is the biggest problem with inventory parts. Uh, recreation industry is booming and uh, getting supply is our biggest issue. So, um, but overall, uh, the RV industry is holding its own. So uh, have you guys had to scale up a little bit then? Can't get the, can't get the product. Can't get the product. Now, what about the uh, uh, the local help, or you know, supply chain, or, or even with the encouragement? Have you, has any of the elected uh, officials been by MPs, MLAs, city, county? Anybody come by? Uh, no, we've been kind of left alone, and uh, no, I can't say they have. Everybody. And the, but the local community, they've been they've been coming in and shopping, obviously going camping. Well, the community support has uh, been real strong, and recreation's at the top of the line. And uh, you know, we live in a, one of the most beautiful spots in the world. And uh, so, if you know, if you got a chance to get into the great outdoors, people do it. And whether you're hiking, fishing, boating, uh, camping, uh, you know, to self-isolate, there's no better place to be than the wilderness. Awesome, that's great. I love that, right? Now, your own your own community engagement and sponsorships. Are you guys still active with the sports and the local culture cultural groups? You're still in, involved. Yeah, it's come back. A, we wound it back a little bit, but we're you know still supporting all the events and uh, local community groups for sure. That's awesome. Frank Havies with uh, Travel Land Leisure Vehicles. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot.